I'm Bill with Tandem Cross, making good guns great. Our loyal customers probably know that Tandem Cross started out as a company focused on 22LR parts. And while we'll always serve the 22LR market, starting in 2017, we began branching out into other calibers, namely 9mm. We produced a halo charging handle for Glocks, several parts for Ruger PC carbines, and a 9mm game changer compensator that fits a variety of firearms like the aforementioned PC carbine, but also fits this rather large pistol called the CZ Scorpion. The Scorpion jumped out at us because of its striking good looks, but also because it was starting to develop some popularity as a steel challenge gun, and we wanted those competitors, or any Scorpion shooter, to be able to get the same benefits that our parts for other firearms provide. So we released three Scorpion parts all at once, one of which I have right here. It's a Victory flat face trigger. We've taken everything we learned from our years making triggers for 22s and put it to use for the Scorpion trigger. Its skeletonized aerospace grade aluminum design is lightweight and durable and will stand up to anything you can throw at it. Its broad, flat, textured face provides you with a solid grip in any condition and smooth, consistent trigger pulls. And it includes a pre-travel adjustment screw to help make your pulls as fast and easy as possible. The Victory Trigger for CZ Scorpion is pretty easy to install. It should only take you a few minutes and it doesn't require any special tools. So let me show you how. For tools, you're going to need a 1.5mm Allen wrench, a 3mm Allen wrench, a small punch, and possibly a hammer, preferably one with a soft rubber head. To begin, make sure your firearm is clear and safe. Then lock the bolt all the way back. The normal bolt stop doesn't actually lock it all the way back, so you have to pull it back and then twist it up into this cutout to get it to stay all the way. On the right side of the gun, above the magwell, you'll see this end of a pin. Push that until the head pops out the other side, and then pull the pin out till it stops. It's captured so it won't come all the way out. Then you can rotate the front part of the trigger unit casing downward and pull it out. Make sure your safety is set to fire. This will expose a set screw on the right side safety switch. You can see it right here. Use your small Allen wrench to take that screw out. And now you can take the right side safety switch off. If you push gently on the cylindrical safety plug that is now visible, the whole safety assembly there will pop out the other side. Remove that too. Inside the trigger guard on the underside of the frame, you'll see another hex screw. Use your larger Allen wrench to take that one out. Once it's out, you'll be able to lift this trigger subassembly right out of the case. Now's a good time to drop your hammer. Make sure that it doesn't slam down, let it slow, go down carefully and slowly. And then use your punch and your hammer to tap out this roll pin here at the top of the trigger shoe. Remove the trigger shoe. You'll see this half moon shaped cutout that the roll pin held the trigger onto. Remember that that's there, you'll be aiming for it later, trying to get another pin in. 
Now set your trigger subassembly back into the housing. And screw the screw that held it in back in. Then grab your safety plug and reinsert that from the left side to the right. There's this groove along the central shaft that's of the safety plug. You'll have to make sure that that's aligned with this tooth-like detent on the opposite side. Push firmly and it will fully seat. Make sure your safety switch is in the fire position so that the set screw hole lines up again and then you can screw that long set screw back into place with the 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. It can be easy to cross thread this screw when you're putting it back in so just be careful, be aware of that. Now it's finally time to actually install the trigger. Your trigger should come with this dowel pin inserted into its uppermost hole already. Make sure that that's where it belongs and hasn't come out somehow. Then get the nylon tipped set screw that comes with it and partially screw it into the hole on the underside of this shelf right here. You want the nylon tip to be flush or lower than the top of that shelf just screw it in enough so that it won't come out and we'll adjust it later. Your trigger also comes with a silver, slightly longer retaining screw. You'll wanna partially screw that into the trigger too. Just enough, again, just enough to hold it in place. It screws into this hole on the left side of the trigger. Just a few turns should be enough. All right, now comes the slightly tricky part. Put the trigger shoe inside the trigger guard with the textured face facing up to the underside of the housing, then rotate the trigger shoe up into the housing until you feel that dowel pin seat into the half moon cutout from earlier. You won't be able to see it, you'll just have to feel it. Then rotate the trigger back in a slightly in a similar motion to pulling it until it's all the way up into the housing and screw it that retaining screw in the rest of the way. The only way to check if it actually has been installed correctly is to perform all your normal fire control checks. So make sure that the safety and trigger both work as expected and be sure when you pull the trigger with the safety on fire that you, again, don't let the hammer slam down, put your finger in the way of it or something and let it down gently. But if it seems like the trigger and safety are working as expected, cock the hammer back one last time and we can put the trigger unit casing back into the upper part of the gun. Start by putting the back end of the trigger casing in first. And then rotate the front part up and in. Push that captured retaining pin back in. Close the bolt. Don't forget to adjust your pre-travel screw to your liking and hold it in place using either Loctite or clear nail polish. And then you're done. 
As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, be sure to let me know in the comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe, plus the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get notifications whenever we upload new content. You can also find us elsewhere on the internet, like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can find other products for the CZ Scorpion, like the Crossout Safety Delete, or the Titan Extended Mag Release, plus the Victory Trigger, and a whole bunch of other products for a wide variety of firearms at www.tandemcross.com. See ya.